Okay, let's start tapping into that Pisces full moon energy. Connecting to our breath. First of all, so we can properly receive this message. Make sure you have the time to sit with yourself, even if it's just for 20 seconds. Picturing the light going down our spine, letting our cores rise, not our chest. Turning the lights on within this home, awakening dormant spaces within the mind, allowing the blood to flow into places that they've never been before. We're going to release tonight with just the hiss of the snake this time. I'm feeling the energies of somebody detoxing. Detoxing from bad food, maybe. Detoxing from habits, people, places, spaces. Yeah, we're still in that. We're always going to be in that mindset of new spaces. New phases, new spaces, new faces, okay? Yeah, when you transform, when it's harvest time, when it's harvest time, that means that new fruits are growing, yeah? You're not just going to hold on to an old-ass fucking fruit, right? Or you're not going to take that seed that was in the middle of the fruit and not plant it, you know what I mean? Or what the fuck do you want to plant and what the fuck do you want to throw out, okay? Okay, yeah, I guess that's what the energy was, Oh, funnel, funnel. Okay, but let's get to the breath, okay? Let's get to the breath. Somebody doesn't want to sit with themselves. Somebody may not even want to sit with somebody. Here we go. Pause. So, Ho'oponopono speaks about forgiveness. Somebody's holding on to a grudge, which is causing them to be out of rhythm with who they are in the now. Because if you're stuck holding on to the past, did I show you guys the cards? I don't know. Let's do it again. If you're stuck holding on to the past, holding grudges, not forgiving people, not forgiving yourself, then, you know, you lose a part of yourself and you lose your rhythm. And that causes you to have a hard time to heal. But it's saying to forgive. Find your rhythm again. And heal. Some people are still holding on to grudges. And it could be the other person as well. And you're just feeling that energy. So that's why it's always good to just forgive and release. You know, there's nothing you can do. The worry does nothing. The replaying it in your head does shut for you. Okay, okay. So we ain't got to read it from the book because I said what I said. Here we go. Let's tap in. Let me shuffle this energy really quick. Mm. Ooh. Yes. So that's what I was seeing. Letting go of reminiscing about what made you unsatisfied, you know? Whatever they did, whatever they did to you, just forgive. It's like, mm, yeah, it's showing me that you have to let it go. Or you have let it go, and now you're no longer feeling unfulfilled. You're feeling like you're ready for this new adventure. You're finding your rhythm, you're healing, you're forgiving. So it could be the energies of you have for, you know, it's saying that you gotta, yeah, you gotta get together, you need to communicate, and if it's, you know, not physically, because some people, you know, they lose people, and physically, they lose them, and they don't have the opportunity to talk to them, so you can even just reach out to your ancestors, the Supreme's energy, yeah, the Divines, that's what I'm hearing, somebody needs to ask for forgiveness from the higher realms, I'm sorry that I forgot you, I'm sorry that I forgot that I needed you on this journey. Yeah, look, she's all in the head, waiting for results. But call upon them. The world is your oyster, but you have to know how to work with it, work with them. 
So we'll see this as a pause. There's a pause because you're waiting for some sort of result. What type of results are they waiting for? What type of results? Let's see. The Emperor. So somebody could be waiting for... Someone. Or well, they're waiting for a plan. Waiting for a plan. But if it is talking about the emperor or your feminine, you can't find them because they're also going through the awakening themselves, going within, meditating, resting. And if this is not what you're on, then be on it, okay? Because if there's grudges being held, if there's forgiveness that needs to be done, then there's feelings that are harbored in here. Like some people may feel like they don't have to rest, but internally, yeah, you do. Six of Swords, moving away from difficulty. Hmm. Injustice. So maybe whatever relationship you were in, whoever you need to forgive, in order to fully move on from it, you have to forgive. Not just them, but yourself. Because maybe some sort of truth came out. But just know that whatever truth it is, that you'll get justice for it. Why do we keep having blindfolds back to back in all my readings? Okay, so somebody went in to a space blindfolded. Or somebody's also trying to just remain blindfolded and closed off. And that makes it hard for you to find your fucking way. So you stay stuck. Possibly not still in that relationship. Maybe not still in that you know, friendship, whatever it is, but because you're still holding on to the grudges, they still linger. So there's justice that wants to come in because a truth came out. But you're not wanting to see it for what it is. You're not wanting to move on from it. You're not wanting to walk away. You're choosing to stay in the Five of Cups. I mean, this is Ten of Cups, but I'm seeing the Five of Cups. is like dumping out on the Three of Cups. So it's like... Just feeling unloved, feeling abandoned. And maybe you're even drinking away your pain. Son of Wands. Hmm. So the Son of Wands sees you. Somebody sees you going through that. Wow, now we got this up right. Okay. Somebody sees you, but you can't see them because you're still holding on to something. And you're not wanting to let go. Still reminiscing, remembering all the shit that happened. This would usually be a good card, but um, um, it's like just reminiscing on the shit that hurts you. But that's over, whatever it was. It's complete. There's a cycle that needs to be completed. Like, okay, that was in your past. Now there's more to be done and something that needs to be worked on. And that's you. That's you loving yourself unconditionally. Even if it means walking away from things that aren't fucking good for you. Like, yes, obviously, you know how to tame the motherfucking lion. But do you know how to tame the lion within yourself? 
to forgive somebody even if they hurt you and not forgive just to stay around but to forgive to move forward do you have that love for yourself death god damn the fuck in reverse come on now not wanting to end things not wanting to <clears throat> forgive maybe just you know not even yeah, not wanting to forgive because they probably broke your heart so fucking badly that it's it's hard but forgiveness you know like they always say it's not for you it's not for them it's for you it's for you to be victorious and move on so you can move on to somewhere where, where they really see you for who you are Move the fuck on. She's up in the clouds. She's going up to the clouds. So it's like, some sometimes you were like feeling victorious and then you went all the way back down the motherfucking stairs and now it's time to walk your ass back up. Back up into your life's purpose. Getting a wake up call. Mm. So... There's that five of cups I was talking about. The wake up call that you're stuck. It's you. You're in control. You're in control of letting go. You're in control of what you're holding on to. See, the magician, you're in control. What are you conjuring up? Are you trying to create some sort of ritual so people that break your heart can come back? Like, ew, no. Hmm. <sighs> Clingy and jealous. Clinging to the past hurt. I'm sorry if this is, you know, this is what it is. It may, may, maybe, may not be for you. So, you know, like I said, it may not even be a motherfucking person. Maybe your family, friends, whoever. So, clingy, jealous. And this. God of Swords. So, he could have been acting like he was the God of Swords. And that's what caused the heartbreak. It's like you saw, you thought they were, who the fuck they said they were, who they were perpetrating to be yeah and you you got let down but don't put expectations on nobody okay you don't want to fuck yourself over and i know it's hard if they're saying if they're talking a big motherfucking game and flip it you know months later But just know, just forgive, you know, people are human, people are still learning. They're still learning as they go along the motherfucking way. Is this the deck that we... Is this a new spread? <laughs> this might be a new spread. Watch my old videos, because it's talking about breaking ancestral patterns. So forgiving, because they too have hit rock bottom at times. They too were, was born into a motherfucking world where it's always rock bottom. You know? And even if they do know motherfucking better, old fucking worlds, but sometimes your ass knew better too, but just forgive yourself, forgive them. It don't fucking matter. Because it's stopping you from going where you need to be. Like, are you really going to hold on to a dead end? Or are you just going to stay at the fucking dead end? Or are you going to turn around and, you know, travel down another path? King of Swords. Hmm. So intense energy. Queen of Wands. So when you forgive, that's what's gonna come in, you know. Somebody who is clear with what they want and also a feminine who is in her power, connected to the divines. 
who is really resourceful. It's going to have things coming in because you're going to release their soul, you know? Mm. The higher thing. So with him there, I'm seeing it as somebody seeking guidance. Somebody seeking help. Because sometimes her, uh, rock bottom hits so hard that you need somebody to help you, help bandage you up, you know? It's like if he was to break your fucking arm, are you just going to try and put a cast on it by yourself? Or are you going to seek somebody with the knowledge that, you know, was born to do that as a career for help? We can't do it by ourselves. We really can't. Like, there's fucking how much billion people here in the world and you think you're supposed to be sitting at home doing it by your motherfucking self. No, you are not. Sorry. Death. So they're gonna so they're gonna allow you to go through this rebirthing process. And this also talks about speaking about what you expect when you're in a relationship, when you're at a job. Speaking about mm, whether or not you guys wanna fucking commit or whether or not you guys are just friends when you get into a relationship because some people don't motherfucking know. They're like, shit, I don't know, I thought we were friends, or why the fuck were you? Expecting so much out of me. Goddamn. Hangman. Death going through a rebirth. And then there's a pause. Then you then you pause for the motherfucking cause. Why? Because you just came out of this. And you may still be grieving. It's saying really go seek help for that. Somebody needs to really go and seek help. You don't have to do it alone. And then when you seek the help, be open to what they're trying to guide you to do. Heavy burdens, exhaustion, stress. So somebody could be so exhausted and stressed out. Because they're carrying too much on their plate. Maybe even putting too much on somebody else's plate. Or maybe accumulating grudges. You know? Since you were a fucking child. I don't like this motherfucker. They fucked me over. No, I don't like this motherfucker. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, you know? And then it blocks your fucking vision. It blocks your passion. You see? He can't see where the fuck he's going. Because he just took it all on. She just took it all on. And just kept push, pushing it off. And going out and celebrating. Or just, you're trying to distract yourself. You're trying to distract yourself from the heavy burdens. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. But look, the hermit shining the light on you fucking partying. Shining the light on the five of cups, the grief. Like, yeah, motherfucker, something's wrong. Do you need me to shine a light on that shit? Something so small, you know? Something so small. Like somebody cutting you off on the fucking street. Whatever it is. A bitch-ass cashier that was having a bad day. Small shit like that, you know? Because then it gets accumulated. More and more and more and more. Fire. Healing. This also speaks about fresh hope. So maybe we'll take the motherfucking load off now and talk about the healing. Can we clear this table really quick? Is that okay? Healing, fresh hope, recognition. That's what what it what it was too, right? Finding somebody who actually recognizes you and what and is interested in who the fuck you are and not just what's between your legs or not just for the money in your pocket or fucking for who the fuck they think you are or who they expected you to be who you expected them to be you know valuing you for your purest self the light and the motherfucking dark And I'm seeing that you're going to become so light. It's, it's going to be like 
there's gonna have no darkness because you're gonna illuminate everything because you went into the dark and you turn the lights on in that motherfucker too darkness where bitch where turn the lights on in the motherfucker and that light bulbs never run out before. respectfully <laughs> respectfully did I get this? Let's get this. <clears throat> the Creativity Oracle. If you guys want to book a personal reading, DM me. Or let me know in the comments. Because this is a general reading. So it may not, you know, not everything that was said in this message will be pertaining to your situation. It could be someone else's energy that I'm tapping into. So a personal reading would be your best chance to find more clarity to allow you to stop procrastinating and being indecisive. That's this card, procrastination. Stop focusing on your problems and excuses. Take a small step to do something constructive. Indecision. Decide not to make a decision at this time. This will be a constructive, valid, and useful decision. So just sit with yourself. Take a breath. And that's always a motherfucking answer. I'm always going to say that. Always. Always. Resurrection. Because it's tapping in and turning lights on. Allowing dormant spaces within your mind to be awakened. And fucking telling you. Fasting and yoga and breath work. Has brought me so much clarity. Maybe too much motherfucking clarity. I'm like, god damn, I can't have fun with shit. I hear the word dog and I, I, I fucking go off with that shit. I'm like, dog, speaking of dogs, motherfucker, do you know what a dog is? <laughs> oh, shit. Resurrection. Because it's the remembering. You're remembering everything. So you have to adjust. Yeah? Once you forgive, then you're going to open spaces for the remembering. Reconsider a project or recall a person from a past to resurrect an idea. It's the forgiveness, forgiving somebody from your past. Aloha, my baby's up.